Oh, sorry about that noise. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that. Anyways, what is up, YouTubers? It is your boy, Men in the XYZ, bringing you another YouTube video. This time, I have a proud announcement. I am going to be starting a brand new series for you guys. This time, it's going to be a lockdown series. Of course, most things revolve either around lockdown or, like, shadow layers. Come on, you know me. But, anyways, let's go quickly, which I'm going to call a hop on Discord. Um, I think Sora is going to be out. Ooh. Sor and hey. Tandrevsky. Hey, what's poppin' guys? I'm recording a video right now. So, say hi to the YouTubers. I'm just explaining the new series I'm gonna be making, so you guys can hear it too since I'm just starting. So, this series is gonna be called Random Wrecking. Um, I think Tandrevsky was the one who suggested the idea about me using random sets in lockdown and pretty much pwning people with them, or at least trying to. So what I'm going to do is I just downloaded this application called The Hat. It's pretty much a randomizer application where you simply submit names or whatever and then it will randomize them and pick them out for you. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding my entire inventory, all my armors, all my helms, etc. And I'm going to be adding them into this application. And what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to be choosing a loadout each time I want to do an episode by selecting it. So I'm going to make different lists and make one for my sword, like my weapon one for my weapon two, etc. for my helms, my armors, you know? Um, yeah. So, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and just pop everything on in. So, starting from the top, we got Atron, BTV, DN. Like, I'm just going to pop everything in. Do I want to add bombs? I might as well. I might as well just go one, like, one of each, can't I? Oh, no, there's only... Yeah, there's only swords, guns, and bombs reps. So, like, I guess two swords, one gun, one bomb, or... Or actually, no. I'll just make it totally random. Who knows? I may have to have, like, a full bomber set or, like, go bomber while using a Culver set, you know? Like, you never know what you'll get from the hat, and that's what's fun about it. Random wrecking, you know what I mean? So, I'll just start off from the top. This one, this list will be called Swords. Okay, I gotta figure out how you add shit. I'm pretty sure it's this. Add names from clipboard, add a range of numbers, add individual names. Okay, so, starting off, Atron. Barbara Storm Blade. What do I have after that? Damn it, I gotta go back and forth. That's gonna be harsh. Can I, like, let's see, just make that, that, non full screen. Uh, right there. Okay. If I do it like that, okay, now. Oh, that is harsh. Can I, like, put it to the side? I'm trying to leave them both open at the same time, you know those ones? But yeah, I don't think you can leave SK open while leaving another application open. That's kinda harsh, bro. I know what I can do, I can like control print screen it and then leave it open like that, so... Or you can put the... Wait. Yeah, you can put the window of the application over your client for SK. Oh yeah. Wait, it won't even let me do this? Rip. Oh, that's oh, rip. Why. Nah, it will. I was just, I had something open over it, that's why. Okay. Yeah, your suggestion will work. Thank you. <laughs> so then I can just leave this back at its regular resolution then. No need to run it at like 1024 by some... Ew. Um... This one, no. Rip, it's this one. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out how to use a trackpad. Dead. Okay, beautiful. So... After DA. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and add on everything. This may be a pretty fun series, don't you think? Because who knows, like, what if I get, like, a VOG Cub coat and, like, I don't know, like, a fencing jacket and then they pair me up with, like, a Night you know, and an Ash and Agni and some weird shit, you know? It's like... <laughs> Pretty fun. I think I'm gonna have to make like a rule that I'm gonna have like one toothpick in each set just so I don't get totally murked. <laughs> I'll just run either a Rigadoon or a BTB and the rest will be random and the armors and will be random. Just to at least have some sort of base ground because it'll be kind of shitty if I have like four bombs or like three bombs and a Lionheart Blade. Like that'll be quite a disadvantage that you can't really do much with. Oh, I, sp I spelt Dread Venom Strike It. Lovely. That's spelling, eh? I must have been like an A student when it comes to English, obviously. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, bro. National Spelling Bee champion over here. Can spell something that's right in front of you. Okay. Oh, that sounds gonna be annoying though. Every single time I like enter it, it like 
makes this notification noise. So, like, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that shit real quick. Um, where are you? Well, it's probably going to be this one. Now then. Close that. Alright, Fearless Rigadoon. Grand Frost. Fine Heart. Honor Blade. Voltage. Rocket Hammer. I have two hammers. I mean, I could go dual hammer. So I'll add two in there, I guess. But, like, wouldn't that just give me more chances to use it? I don't know. And you know, the idea is probably going to be, like, at least 50 things in here. So I'm not expecting to get, like, doubles. But yeah, I'm probably just going to end up putting one toothpick with each loadout. Like, if I just, I'm just going to, like, choose three random and then, like, do a randomizer for the toothpick and choose one. So I'm going to have to make a, what's it called? Furious Flame Bridge as well. Pretty soon. So the last one I added in was, which one? Hammer. So I need one million. Alright. And the weapons are going to be five star, of course. Like my... Stable rocket hammer again to back. I'm not using those because like you can't really do much of those in tier three. If it was a four star, it, it could be usable, but three star, nah, nah, not there. For guns, I'll make a separate list, I guess. So like these are all my swords. Save list as. Type a descriptive name for the list below. Obviously, you can re then reload it anytime I click that name in the save list menu. Beautiful. Okay, so I guess they have their own directory within the actual. Um, like directory where the hat was installed. I thought like I could save it to anywhere I wanted, but that's fine. Like as long as it knows where to read the list from, then all is good. So I'll save this one as swords. Now I'm gonna make a new list. Oh, rip! What did I just do? I just click randomize. <laughs> How do I clear everything? Shouldn't there be like a quick way to do that? Oh, that's like delete everything. Like, hmm. Program preferences, nah, it's not gonna be there. Oh, there is a play sound. Font size, interesting, and yeah. Hatless container. Ha, <laughs> interesting, but yeah, I'll do the magic hat still. Can I just like click delete and they all go? Yeah, so if I click shift and I do that, shouldn't they all select? Interesting, they're not. Okay, I'll just delete them manually, it's fine, like, I can live with that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm pretty much making a different list for each of them. And then I'll just go ahead and just select one toothpick. So either a BTB or a Rigadoon and eventually a Flame Bird. And then I'll select one random sword, one random gun, and then one random bomb for me to use in lockdown. Unless do I want to just pop everything into one list. What do you think? Like, should I just do, like, one random toothpick and then, like, just leave the other three, like, totally random within everything in my entire inventory? Or should I do, like, one random gun, one random bomb, one random sword? Which one do you think? Talking to you guys in Discord, eh? Soar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy is like, what? <laughs> I'm also doing stuff on the laptop, so... Ah, uh, true. Well, yeah, what I was saying is that for this for this series that I'm doing, I want it to be random, right? And, like, I'm gonna choose one toothpick to go with the loadout that I choose. So, like, either a random, like, either a Fearless Rigadoon or a Barber Storm Blade. But then on top of that, I have three more slots, and what I want to know is should I choose one random sword, one random gun, and one random bomb? Or should I just, like, make one huge randomized list with all my other items in my inventory and then make it choose three. Like, what do you think? So there's a possibility for me to get, like, two random guns or, like, two random bombs or even three. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, should I do it that way? Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Alright, so I'll do it that way then. So I'll just reload that list that I had. It has a greater chance of randomness, I think. Yeah, for sure. So, with that being said, save list, swords... Wait, oh fuck me. I just I just made a list and then I think I just saved over it. Yep. It's okay, I'll just redo it. <laughs> and I'll just make the list different, so Oh my god. It's alright. I'll just do it over real quick. Hmm, Grand Fast, Lionheart, oh no, it's one word, 
Lionheart, Honor, Blade. Did I spell that right? I think I put like Lion Thart. Lion Thart. Oh, oh no, I put. Oh no, I put Lion Heart Heart. I'm like, I'm like something. Something felt wrong about that. I'm like, it looked a bit too long. <laughs> Lion Heart. Honor Blade. Okay. And individual names. So. Voltage. And then I have two hammers. Um, I can also bring a one million. Four stars are still viable in tier three at least, but three stars are not really. Arcana, Argent Peacemaker, Biohazard, Callahan, Gilded Griffin. Hail Driver, Magma Driver, Nova Driver, Singing Carbine, Phantomus, what else you got? After Phantomus is Polaris, Rift Locker, Sentenza, Spiral Sulker, Storm Driver, Umber Driver, Valiance, Wildfire, Winter Grave, and then we have bombs here. Ash of Agni, Dark Briar, Barrage. Oh my gosh. Dark Retribution. I could add the short form because I would still know what they are, but like I might as well just type them in full because like I'm going to save this list and I want it to be nice and proper. Chong Vortex, Night Genome, Obsidian Crusher, say words, so if I never sold my Obsidian Edge I would have had all the Obsidian weapons. But it's fine. The Obsidian Edge isn't really that much of an upgrade over the Atron, if anything's a downgrade in my opinion. You need to actually use the charge in order to benefit from the poison damage, you know? Unlike with the, with the, what you call it, Carvine, it can poison on hit without charge. And Bandit Boy is probably going to try and summon that Prismatic Halo, which I can't even buy anymore because I ended up buying that, <laughs> um, what you call it, Carvine, and then I never even got paid today. I was cheese, bro. I checked my bank account, yo, I'm like, I expect to get paid. No money. I'm like, rip. But like, today is Sunday, so like, it could be Monday. It could be Monday. But I was kind of expecting it today. Maybe later. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. But anyways. Shiver Mist, Buster. I'll just let him know. Cause I mean, Prismatic Halo hey, for 10 KCE, yo. A friend of mine is selling a Combustor CCR VH for 800k. Well, he probably won it off the auction house, right? <laughs> I know whose it belonged to originally. Because he asked me how much it was worth. And then the guy sold it on the auction house and it sold for a bit less. And I think it went up on the auction house twice. Actually. Let's see. Shiver Mist. Stag. Oh, wait. Mist, it's not buyout. Obviously. Yeah, it's bid. Venom. Mailer. Voltaic. Tempest. Trust them. Always up to date with the auction house. That's the first thing I do when I log in. I like scan it. Okay, these are all my weapons that are four to five star, I believe. So now then, so I have 42 five star weapons. Decent, decent, but like, of course I got a whole bunch of shit vendor and I'm cheese about that, but it's whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and save this list. Save list as weapons, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new list. I'm just going to close the application. And then like restart the application. Because like hopefully they'll just make it fresh. Like no, nothing added up there. Damn it, everything's still there. So now, how do I make a new list without... Mm, move select and... Oh, clear list. Bang. And then if I load this...
Wait, I just saw it, bro. Save list weapons. Okay, beautiful. So it's all there. So control D is how you clear list, correct? Oh, it's control delete. Okay. Anyways, now on to the gear. Like, the armors and shit. So, I don't have many helms. I don't really need many helms. I only have the ones that I actually use, but like, I'm gonna end up making a few more. I'm gonna make that Sacred Falcon Shade Helm to go on my Black Cat Cowl, that's why I have that. I'm also making the Firefly Shade Helm, and I'm gonna try and- I'm only waiting until I can find a Shade Helm with a Curse Max or Curse High UV. Because the only reason I'd ever use that Firefly Shade Helm was for UFSC to pair it up with my Black Cat. Because then I don't have to run Purity, I can just simply run the Shade Helm and then run Swift Steps 2 for MSI High and then keep all my damage perks. In fact, I'd actually have a bit more damage instead of the Serious Mask, because like, you get low from Falcon. And you only get, you don't get any damage bonuses from Cirrus. And since I have damage, I mean, since I have CTR high UV on my Spiral Soaker, the CTR that you get from the Cirrus is pretty much redundant because so you're having an extra stage of low. But at least with CTR Ultra on that, if I pair with a Falcon Shade, the Sacred one, then I get CTR low on that, which gives me max. And then it just all balances out in the end. If I just bring an Elite True Shot, then I'll have damage max with my cat and that. And it all just works out pretty much. Anyways. I'm just gonna go ahead and add helms to this now. So black cat cow, chaos cow, perfect mask of Cirrus, sacred falcon sentinel helm, skullver cap, snarbalax cap, and that that capitalized K just irks me. Okay, you mini you perfectionist. I don't know. Vog Cup Cap. Honestly, I can use any helm in lockdown because, like, it doesn't really affect you as much. It just affects how many hits you can take, but, like, the no damage bonus is simply something. Like, I don't know. A Blizzbreaker helm, I wouldn't really run in lockdown, but I can. I'll say I can run three stars, zero stars. Like, it depends on the helm. I'll choose a Blizzbreaker helm. Like, who knows? It's kind of OP. I'll pop it in. Blizzbreaker helm, Dusker Cap. Surge, Breaker, Helm, the Woven Falcon Shade Helm though, like, that's not even, that has like, no perks, does it, or does it have like some shock and gun, I think it does, whatever, I'm adding it, Shade Helm, Jelly Helm, the Ember Break and the Trigard probably won't do anything, Cyclops I'll add, well actually nice. Nah, instead of adding my entire inventory, stop being a bitch me, I'm adding everything, Ember Break, Helm, like, it's not impossible to wreck people in Ember Break Helm. Like, come on, it's not. It's not impossible. Ember Break Helm. Try Guard Helm. Did I already add Cyclops? I think I did. Yeah, I did. And then one of these has like a odd capital letter again. Like, fuck. Why am I such a perfectionist? I don't know. But like, it just it's just weird. Like, why am I gonna have a capital letter followed by another capital letter and then like two lowercase? Like, it just looks odd. You know, like, even if it's spelled right, it's just not, it's, it's not right. It's just not, bro, it's left. It's not right. <laughs> Sparrow, sell it. Alright, and then armors, those can all go into the same thing, can't they? Or, oh no, I can't, because then if I randomize two, I'll get, I may just potentially get two helms, which wouldn't benefit. So, this can be a helm list. So, save list as helmets. Control delete clear all names now I'm going to go ahead and add all my armor so ancient plate mail arcane salamander suit black cat raiment chaos cloak so yo sorry what you saying oh this guy went afk probably he's like I don't want to hear this guy naming off his entire inventory <laughs> I'm just mean like you're probably farming elites or playing lockdown one or the other I have Mercurial Demo Suit and Mercurial Mail, I'll say a word. Sacred Falcon Shade Armor Shadow Sun Slicker Skullver Coat Snarbalax Coat Vog Cub Coat Plated Falcon Sentinel Armor Dusker Coat Elemental cloak, the sentinel armor and shit like that. I'm not even gonna bother with just yet, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna try and roll in it and flip that. That's why it's not even bound. 
but like, hmm. I want to add in my proto gear and the fencing jacket at least. So what's that spiral kill in, I think? And then... What else? Fencing jacket. Plated Falcon may become Sacred Falcon Sentinel Armor sooner or later. Like, I'm just waiting to find someone who has the recipe. Like, someone named Changed Warrior was selling for 35k. I'm like, bro, I'm not a desperate hoe. Like, dude, like, go ahead and just try and find someone who's gonna buy it off you for 35k, bro. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I'm paying 30, 31, maybe even 32. Like, even 32 is desperate, bro. 31 is also desperate in my eyes, but like, I could live with paying 31, but 35, bro, that's just a straight on tax. That is a tax, bro. Like, <laughs> that isn't a profit, that's a tax. That's your, that's almost your double up right there, bro. Kind of, like, you're making 10k, dude, like, jeez. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much making, like, two-fifths as profit, like. I'm just sitting in Haven because stuff's going on. Stuff's, stuff's going on. Stuff. What am I looking for? Shields won't affect anything. Trinkets, I'll just run Pentas. So at the end of the day, if I'm getting paired by like a zero star helm, like what the fuck, like how am I supposed to? <laughs> that's dead and literally what it. If I'm getting paired with a zero star and no pentas, that's a rip, bro. All right. Oh, I need to learn that. All right. I think all is well. Oh, I need to go buy some enamels, bro. Like goddamn. The artifacts, though. And when is this guy gonna have his damn money? This guy wants to buy the halo off me. Like, when was the last time he even logged on? Damn, he's not even buying it. He's just a fake. I'm done. Rip. I know, right? This guy's, like, acting as if he's gonna go buy the Halo and shit, acting all rich, like... Wait, how much are you selling it for? The guy said that he that he was gonna offer the 3.5 million. He's like, no, I can do four. It's way for me to get 400k on, like, um, K, or, like, 500k. I'm like, alright, fine, whatever. I can do 3.5 anyways. And he's like, I told you I need to get 500k. I'm like, well, yeah, that's if you're going to do 4 mil and instead of 5 3.5. And then he just logged off. I'm like, okay, you know what? Whatever. Like, <laughs> the end of the day, I'm not accepting anything less than 30k CE for this kind of a halo. Because I know it's worth at least that, considering Digicom even told me. And other people are The other people even know how rare this halo is, bro. It came up in the Nemesis event. Like, you were around that time. I'm pretty sure you know yeah. what Nemesis event is. And it's never come back. Ever. The only, the only possibility that you can actually get this halo is by getting a surprise prize, prize box. And then you get the Nemesis prize box from that surprise box because it gives you a random box from any past event. And even then, you still have to get the Halo from that box. That's what makes it so rare. So like, I, I can loaf on this, bro. Like, I know it's valued. Like, it's just sitting there, bro. If you're not paying for it, you're not getting it, boy. Anyways, I want to go back to the hat. I think that's all my armors. Indeed. And then Pentas on Srundos. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and save this, save list as armors, okay. So now, if I were to select a list, then I have armors, helmets, weapons, so the storage list can be deleted, right click to delete. Let me just make sure that swords is the one that has nothing, yeah it is, okay. Well, I was quite confident, but I wanted to be sure. Delete selected list. So now I have armaments, helm armors, helmets, weapons. Beautiful. Armors. Nice. I'm going to have to get used to these shortcuts, though. Helmets. Weapons. So I can go ahead and remove Barber Storm Blade. And fearless rigging. I have to throw AFK for a bit. All right, man. When he says a bit, it's probably only gonna be like a bit. Stores normally either AFK and like comes back ASAP or like he's actually gone for a bit. But like if he stays online, then I'm pretty sure he'll be back soon. Anyways, with that being said, I think now we are ready to go ahead and figure out what our first set will be. <laughs> Ooh, this ought to be interesting. So, I want to go ahead and add like a random, like the randomizer for Barber Storm Blade or Rigadoo. Well, actually, no, I can just do heads or tails for the coin flip actually each time. So, okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I only want it to draw like one. So, like, can I make it select that? 
because like I don't want to like select all 40 in like a different order I just wanted to select like four or like three I think I can probably set them to settings I know not I'll just control it myself anyways time to figure out the first the first loadout so with that being said Rigadoon or Barber Storm Blade BTB will be heads Rigadoon will be tails I'm actually no no, that makes no sense. Barber Storm Blade comes from like a beast pretty much, so like it might as well be the tails, you know what I mean? So BTB tails, Rigadoon heads, let's go. Rigadoon heads, Rigadoon it is. Rigadoon, bam! So the first one is gonna be our Rigadoon. I'm just gonna go ahead and like open up a document or some shit so I don't lose it. So what am I looking for? Open office. So I'll just pop it in there. Mm, I don't need recovery. What? That was so weird. Anyways, that was super weird. I already know what I have in those files, by off the top of my head, cause I wrote them. But yeah, Rigadoon. Wrecking episode one loadout. Weapon one, weapon two, weapon three, weapon four, helmet, armor. Okay, so weapon one, fearless rigadoon. Next up, weapon two. Yo, Eamon hasn't logged on in a bit, bro. Anyways, I even waited for this guy. So, with that being said, if I just choose something... Draw names from hat. So I'll draw names. Oh, I can. Oh, I can choose. Do I want to draw three at a time, or one? So that's kind of mainstream, but it is random. I can choose the order after the weapons, and of course, though, as long as I'm using them. Let's see. Next. Damn, these guys want me to go hybrid, eh? Rip. Getting all mixed up with tabs and shit, even though there's like only three tabs to manage. Really? That's an interesting set. That's a really interesting set. I've never I would never choose this as a set. I'd always choose like Either like a like a rigadoon or kind of hammer, but like I'll, I'll choose a six clip to go next to my hammer. Illusion uses like hammer and a driver combination, you know, and he's pretty good with it. But for me, that's really out of my like. I can't say out of my comfort zone. But it's like something that I just wouldn't experiment with. Reason being is because like after you dash, you only have one bullet to really work with, and like what I like to do normally is like like dash away or dash from the person, like do some cover fire, and I can like even switch to another gun or like they decide to come at me, then I can switch and have enough time to do a counter attack. You know what I mean? So like pretty much when you're doing a driver now, um, oh shit, let me like mute that. So yeah, pretty much with a driver now, it's more or less like after you dash and then you hit them, like you gotta of course land the hit and if you miss then you, you can be countered quite easily but at the same time a gun does have range, does have like 7 tall range I think. Um, a driver maybe 6, 6 or 7, but I know that the Sentenza, Sentenza is like almost 8, Arcana has like 7. Umbra is a bit shorter than the, than definitely shorter than the 6 clips and the Gilded, the Sentenza, Obsidian and the... Arjun, so I mean, it'll be interesting. This will definitely be interesting, but I look forward to using this. Oh, and it's not over, of course, because we still got to choose our gear. Yeah, I was recording something. 
anyways with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and change the list save is also text file no points I just I just pretty much did it <laughs> country's a cool cat bro he's just like yo <laughs> when you're blind, <laughs> I said skull for what's clearly chaos. I'm done. Max power. <laughs> I think that's Blaken, correct? Alright, anyways. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. That's like a nice contrast. Contrary contrast. Ha, you saw I did there. Ha, 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 ha. Anyways. Let's see. I need to change my list. Save list. Choose a helmet. I made changes. Yes, I'll actually like save those changes because I changed the BTB. So, new helmet. I wonder what we get. It's only one that we're drawing. The helmet that we're running is the Vog Cub Cap. Oh. So we're gonna have some lightning speed, guys. Lightning speed, like, are these people ready for it? I don't know, but we'll find out. Vog cup cap. And then, I wouldn't be surprised if I get like a three star armor. But like, I can live with that. <laughs> as long as I have like, as long as I have the Vog, I can compensate with the speed like I'm not even too worried about doing too much damage as long as I have the speed to like hit and retreat hit and retreat or like just stun lock someone you know cause like with the hammer at least I have the I have the speed to like be versatile now that's what I like but like the thing is I have no damage bonuses but Arcana and Umbra hit hard enough without damage bonuses like they are annoying enough at least and you can do some decent cover fire and I can single switch Umbra so like I can have some good cover fire with that I'm not worried if it was like a six clip then I would be worried cause like one you have to hit the bullets and two is like the bullets that you're gonna be landing are not gonna be doing much damage like you really can only focus on canceling with that and even then umbra cancels much harder than a six clip would it's only if you like land multiple hits with a six clip then it becomes more annoying but you can always single switch so i mean single switching just simply out, out damages and it's out damages it. it's just that you, you use a, a bit of your strike booster while you're single switching but if you do it right you're, you're not really doing much um i'll just explain to him Exactly. So that's that's all it is, guys. I'm making a new series, Run and Reckon. I already, I already explained what it is, pretty much. So now, armor. I don't need the clear list. I need a low list. So, armor. Yes. Hat. And we are running fencing jacket. Oh no, fuck up, cap a fencing jacket. <laughs> No, you guys want me to go. You guys want me to go try hard. These guys are telling me, Mini, it's your time to shine, bro. Dude, Vulcan Cap fencing jacket. I'm getting damage VH ASI. Ma oh my god, you're lying, bro. These guys are giving me an OP set, bro. Like, yo, guys, just look forward to this, guys. Like, I'm telling you, like, I'll, I'll just I'll play today or tomorrow. Like, it depends if Golden Eamon decides to log on right now. Then I, I can't do the video now. I'd have to, whatchamacallit, focus on doing that. But I mean, hey. At the end of the day, this is still a good set. It's not a shitty set. Like, I should be able to pull something off with this. So, that being said, you guys saw it first. I did it first try. No edits. No, like, me closing it, opening it, and hoping for the best because I've done everything in one video. And I'll do it like that each time. I won't, like, select it and then, like, you know, be like, yo, I got this. Even though I would have tried already, like, five times. Like, no, I did it one time. This is everything I got randomly. Like, next time I may even get screwed over and get, like, a Surge Breaker Helm and a Spiral Salad. Like, I mean, like a spiral cue. Like, you, never, you never know. Like, I just gotten lucky this time. A Vogue Cup Cat Fencing Jacket Fearless Rigging. That means I have no bonuses on my guns, but the swords are gonna be nice enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my random wrecking episode one. 
though. I don't know why this guy's cracking me when he's not in my guild. Boot, you nigga. I'm stroking. Anyways. So I'll, I'll go ahead and full screen this now. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and make random wrecking. Oh, I was gonna go ahead and just play with this on lockdown with the like cops cap, but like, vog cup cap. So you guys can see the UVs on it too. So like, you guys know what I'm running. You know, like it, the gear that I'm gonna be running in this set is gonna be pretty decent, but nothing stacked. Like, there's no damage bonuses here. Like, like I mean, damage was like no resistance bonuses here. No resistance bonuses. Like, no normal high, no normal max, no elemental max, no shit. Like, nothing like that, bro. It's just stun med. Like. It's not serious. If I get like my snarby or something like that. <laughs> At least three years ago. Some bad GM, what you mean what are you in this guild? the fuck bro you think <laughs> what do you mean how what kind of question is that I don't run under people that's the thing like I like I used to be in dark guardians and stuff but like that was like my home guild dark guardians back in the day when I was like mini meta knight but it's like dead a monster wants to join isn't that ironic bet you renamed to join the guild i don't know why you weren't even in it and i'm back all right your list is entirely done yeah i'll let you know what the set is in a second actually Tree is all right. Acted. I feel that. All right. So yeah, I can let you know what my what my set is. So I randomized everything. First goal, my first weapon. Well, like the weapon that I picked was fearless regadoon for my heads or tails for the BTB slash regadoon toss up, right? And then weapon two, I got Arcana. Weapon three, I got Umber Driver. Weapon four, I got Warmaster Rocket Hammer. For my helmet, I got a Vog Cup Cap. And for my armor, I got a fencing jacket. Wow. Yeah. Fencing jacket? Yeah, I got, I got damaged med, so that should still be helpful. So, yeah, I got a hammer. I'll run my ASI med hammer. I'll run the Arcana, I have one. And then it was Umber Driver. Oh, I should probably heat that though. It's level 5. Rip, now I gotta go do something. <laughs> I don't even think I have any radiance, bro. Like I use them all up on my obsidian carbine. <laughs> well, no, I have enough to at least get it up another level. Do I trust this? Yeah, I trust it. I can do it twice in a row if I fail once, though. Okay, so I didn't fail. So now that means next time I can probably do it again at like 75 or 70 percent forge. Beautiful. So how do I want to run this? I'm gonna run it like. I want to run it like how I Ilu runs it, so he does like hammer and then you can single switch umber right away after the dash and then run my arcana right after my like my regadoon or do I want to run arcana after this way? Why would I? Nah, I like it this way. I, like technically this would be Ilu's way with like the umber right after the hammer and I haven't done it like that before but I'll try it out. I got like it'll be interesting. But like, I naturally run my blaster right next to my toothpick, like that's how I am. So like if I'm gonna run it that, then I'm pretty much forced to run my umbra next to the hammer anyways, whether I like to or not. So I mean, you know, it'll be interesting. At least I'll I'll be used to the Arcana toothpick though. The hammer umbra I'm gonna get used to. Shouldn't be too hard. And since Sword taught me how to single switch, like I could do that in lockdown. I was trying it out like yesterday and the day before too, so I'm switching a lockdown. It's not too bad actually. It's quite quick, and you can move while you do it like quickly while you move. Like you can move quickly while you do it. It's actually quite nice. Cause like me and Bubbly Kush were like having like a one v one kind of thing, like in randoms. Like it wasn't like a dedicated one v one. It was kind of like me versus Bubbly, and like we just had like our own little section 
and like we're just on opposite teams, you know. So like me and Bubbly were like single switching against each other, like it was hectic. So, like none of us really wanted to get close at the time because it's like I think he or she, I think it's a she, like based on one of the costumes, like I'm not certain. Like I'll just say Bubbly had Storm Driver, and at the time I was running like Rift Locker. I had I think I had a Storm Driver as well. It was like Rift Locker, Storm Driver, Toothpick, and Grand Foss. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on. No, no, no. It wasn't Storm. It was Nova. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to get up close and get shocked. So it's like I'm just gonna stay my distance, try and get some DPS with the Nova Driver. So it's like it was really, it was really like intense because like I didn't want to go up and get shocked, and then like Bubbly didn't want to come in and take like heavy damage because like no Bubbly had no elemental res. It was BKC Shadow Sun. So like you know you're pretty much dead in like four Nova bullets from from full cat. So it, it was quite interesting. It was quite interesting, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save this loadout as random wrecking. Ep1. And then I'll go ahead and like get this done later. Alright guys. Alright. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was just me explaining what I'm gonna be doing for this new series. So I'll just explain it again once more for the final time. Though I'm pretty sure you guys understand what's going on. I pretty much added my entire inventory to this hat application and I decided to make a different list for each like set of gears so, like one separate randomizer for my helmets, one for my armor, one for my guns. Oh. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just made a one for all of my all of my weapons and then I'm going to be doing like a heads or tails flip for me using either BTB or Rigadoon because I only have two toothpicks at the moment. And like I just want to have a toothpick with any of my loadouts. Reason being is cuz like it's one of those staple things that I'm just used to. And of course it doesn't mean it's totally random, like at least I'll have something I'm comfortable with, but like at the end of the day if I'm like stuck with like a toothpick and like three bombs, or like a toothpick and like some some weird dumb set, like at least I'm not left for dead, you know? Like at least <laughs> I could do something. <laughs> you know, like, jeez bro. And even then a rigging is not gonna be hitting that hard from a fencing jacket vlog, but like I'll have some speed so like it'll be fun. Killing people in this kind of a set, they're gonna be like what the hell mini like yeah, it'll be fun. I'm gonna go- oh no, hold on. I'm gonna go remove my armor costume, because I look a bit too OP in this, like... Remove the BKC, I don't want people seeing my snarby BKC UVs, like, they don't need to. They don't need to. They really don't. So... I've seen you weren't wear that before, actually. <laughs> True. Alright. Random Wrecking... Ep... 1. Alright bro, so it's been saved. So that is it guys, that is the video. I'm just quickly updating you on the new series which I wanted to add. Thank you Tandrevsky again for the good suggestion. You know, I just decided to add all the finishing touches to it, but at the end of the day he was like, yo, you should make random sets and like crush people and lock down with it. And then I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. And I decided to like make up something which could, you know, work with that idea and like actually make it come to life. And I think that it'll be a fun series, you know, because it pretty much makes me go out of my comfort zone. It pretty much forces me to get like better using different combinations of weapons you know making me more versatile as a player and i like to think that i am versatile as a player um and also at the same time it may also force me to go different classes like this i'm gonna go striker with because like i'm running two guns a heavy and a toothpick like that's quite hybrid like an offensive hybrid is what i would call it because i have a heavy along with like two guns and a toothpick you know so i'd call it offensive it was like a regular hybrid i'd just be running one toothpick and like two or three guns and then offensive has a heavy in it with two guns you know so, that's what I would call it at least. Like, some people wouldn't even call it a hybrid, they just call it as regular swordsman set if you're running like a heavy and a toothpick. Like, it's, it's up to preference, you know, but for me, I'm a, when I'm a swordsman, I, run, I normally run a toothpick, a heavy, and then my voltage. And then I'll run one gun, you know, like that's my swordsman set. So like, if I'm running more than one gun, I call it a hybrid or an offensive hybrid if I'm running a heavy with it. But anyways, I've been like trying to end this video like three times. So, peace out YouTubers, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you should see this video up by the end of the week. Today is today is the 20th of August, so I would say expect the video by September 1st. That's actually quite it's quite soon, but yeah, like that's Thursday. Like I expect to get it up by then. If not, then I would say by the weekend, Saturday. Like that gives me like pretty much a week to get the video done. Like I, I don't expect it to be that late. I wouldn't be surprised if I get it up in like two days. So yeah, peace out, YouTubers.